Hi! So, nauso na ang video tutorial, ang live streaming, ang online streaming. And I just wanted to try it out. Quarantine days, wala kong ibang maisip na gawin, kaya napunta tayo sa ganitong pagkakataon. Isa lang yung gusto kong hiling hilingin sa inyo. Dahil sinimulan nyo naman noon, mag-promise sana kayo na tatapusin nyo yung video. Promise ko sa inyo, may matututunan kayo sa video na ito. And I'm gonna share something that I'm good at. Funny. Good at na agad. Okay. Yan. What do you see now? So, it's 2 cube. I wanted to know, ano ba sagot dito sa 2 cube na to? Is it 2 times 3, which is 6? Or, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8? Welcome oh, to medyo na taranta siguro kayo kasi bakit biglang, biglang sumegue ng math. Tara na! Nandito pa na, sundan na natin itong lesson na ito. So, kung ang sagot mo ay 2 times 3, mm -hmm. parang yan. Mali. Because the answer here is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And actually, what we're discussing is about exponents. And as you can see, 3 there is actually an exponent. When we speak of exponent, yan, ito ang kanya formal definition, representation of a power to which a given number or expression, yan. So, ibig sabihin, exponent ay isang power. You don't easily multiply the numbers, okay? So, going back, tatlong beses mo daw isulat yung number, yung base natin 2, kaya naging 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Nakuha ba? Actually, kahit grade 10, grade 11, marami pa rin nagkakamali sa concept ng exponents. So, let's try these examples. We have here 3 squared. Tama ba na ang 3 squared ay 3 times 2, which is 6? Very good. Dapat ito ay 3 times 3, which is 9. Let's have another example. What about 3 cube? Kapag 3 cube, ito ba ay 3 times yung power natin na 3? Ang sagot ay 9. Very good! Dapat ito ay 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Let's have one last example. What about 4 squared? Mm, kayo naman magsagot. Okay, okay. So the answer is, 4 times 4, which is 16. Aside from those examples that we have, let's now proceed to the loss of exponent. Let's have the first law. This is easy. So you have here the zero exponent. It tells you that when a number or an expression is raised to zero, the answer is 1. So kahit maliit na number, papalaki, 20,000 man yan, basta ang exponent natin ay 0, ang sagot ay 1. Ganun din, kahit gaano kaliit ang number, kahit fraction pa to, basta ang exponent natin ay 0, ang sagot pa rin ay 1. Yes? Kill. Let's have law number 2. Ang law number 2 naman natin ay ang negative exponent. So, ayan, pagka nakita na ng negative exponent, yung mga bata dyan, takot agad. A raised to negative x, which is equal to 1 over a raised to x. Ah, magiging fraction lang pala. O, oh, ayan ha. Yung mga live streaming ng Mobile Legends, umaabot ng 10 minutes, 12 minutes. So, meron, minsan pa 1 or 3 hours, tapos nakukuha yung manood. O, oh, eto, lesson sa math. Kaya nyo naman itong tapusin, siguro within 10 minutes. Kaya, stay with me. So, we have now here, 2 raised to negative 3. Since ang exponent ay negative number, automatic, mapupunta lamang ang ating base sa baba and then change the exponent into positive. So, you have there 1 over 2 cube. At ang 2 cube ay 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Very good. Eh, paano pa ganito? 2x raised to negative 3. Na kanino yung exponent na negative 3? Mm -hmm. Very good. So, ibig sabihin, si 2, hindi gagalaw. Si x lang kasi siya lang ang may negative exponent. So, tignan natin ang sagot. Pareho ba tayo ng sagot? Very good. Now, let's try the last example. What if, aba, pareho na silang may exponent na negative 3? So, ano na mangyayari? 
tama. Pareho na silang bababa and then change the exponent into positive. Pero, may exponent eh. Paano gagawin natin si mga exponent na yan? Dapat ma-distribute sa lahat. And then simplifying, you will get 1 over 8x cubed. Now let's have law number 3. Ang ating law number 3 ay ang product rule. Ito ay ang pagmumultiply ng dalawang number or expression na may pareho na base. Dito ang base natin ay A. Tapos magkaiba ang kanilang exponent o kailang ding pareho for as long as si base ay pareho. So ang gagawin mo lang is to simply add their exponents. X plus Y. Let's try this example. 16 times 32. Oh, parang nag nabigla pa tayo sa sauran laki ng number. Remember that these are actually powers of 2. 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4 in exponential form. Si 32 naman po ay pwede isulat na 2 raised to 5. O ngayon, pareho na silang may base. When we multiply 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to 5, it becomes 2 raised to 4 plus 5. And 2 raised to 4 plus 5 is 2 raised to 9. Kaya ba natin i-multiply yun mentally? Kaya. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64 times 2, 128 times 2, 256 and times 2, 512. Law so, number 4. Sa ating law number 4, ito naman ay tinatawag na quotient rule. Katulad ni law number 3, pareho sila ng bases. But this, since this is division, isusubtract naman natin ang kanilang powers. So let's have this example. 1024 over 16. Oh, dinawindang na naman tayo kasi ang laki ng numbers. Tapos di natin alam paano isosolve. Pwede uli natin gamitin ang exponential form which will be 2 raised to 10 over 2 raised to 4. Ano nga daw gagawin sa quotient rule? Very good. To subtract their exponent. So you now have there 2 raised to 10 minus 4. Answer? Yes, that's 2 raised to 6. And 2 raised to 6 is 64. Very good. Oh, one last na lang tayong rule and then we're done. And let's see law number 5. This is power of a power. Nako, ma-power pala ito. Powerful. Pag nakita tayo ng power of a power, so nakikita mo dalawang exponent pero yung base natin ay isa lang. Ang gagawin lang po natin dito ay to multiply the two exponents. For example, we have 2 cubed raised to the power of 2. Hmm, parang nakakatakot tignan. Pero kaya yan. Katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, we will just multiply the exponents. We now have 2 raised to 3 times 2, which also gives you 2 raised to 6. And the answer is, 64. Good job! Ngayon, natapos na natin ang loss of exponent, pwede na tayong mag-test yourself. Tignan lang natin kung naaalala natin. Maganda tong refresher bago tayo bumalik sa school. So, let's see. You have to try this. Yan. What is 1 million raised to 0? Hmm. Laki nung number. Tapos raised to 0. Anong sagot? Very good. Using zero exponent, the answer is one. Let's try a new one. What is three squared raised to the power of two? So that's power of a power. So that becomes three raised to two times two. That's three raised to four, which is 81. Very good. Let's try another example. What about 3 squared times 3 cubed? Pareho ng bases. Anong gagawin natin sa exponent? Very good. Ia-add natin. And when we add, you have now 3 raised to 5. And 3 raised to 5 is 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. O, di ba? Nagagawa natin mentally para akala natin magigap pero kaya naman pala. We have second to the last, negative exponent. Yeah, ano nang ang gagawin? 
very good. So dahil negative exponent, magiging fraction. And then, that's 3 raised to 4. Yung ilalim natin magiging Let's now have the final problem. 10 raised to 10 divided by 10 raised to 8. Yan, medyo nakakatakot kasi ang lalaki ng exponent. Pero alam natin kaya gawin. Pareho yung base, subtract. So, 10 raised to 10 minus 8. The answer is 10 squared. Very good. At ang 10 squared ay 100. Ayan. Sorry kung na-mislead ko kayo. Kala natin maglalaro tayo ng ML. Pero dahil nasagutan nyo na ang problem sa exponents, tara maglaro na tayo ng ML. PM, PM lang. Sabi nga nila, PM is the key. Pero hindi ako nagtitig na. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.